Okay, window capture, you should be all the way at the bottom. The, I, the issue with window capture is because I'm not playing full screen, uh, it's uh, like the, the little bar all the way at the top, it, it doesn't capture that because it's not in the window, it's like the border of the window, so it doesn't go full screen on the, on stream, so there's a little black bar at the bottom that, it's, that there's nothing, <laughs> that's the issue with window capture. Oh, the, the taskbar? Where, yeah. where you have your taskbar, yeah. Oh, you don't have the fake full screen? No, I don't. Script running, yeah. I got like 5 billion things <laughs> that the stream was frozen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the downside of 5 minute, probably the biggest downside of 5 minute stream delay. Yeah, I mean it's only 3 minutes, but I, oh. I don't... I don't like the stream delay anyway, but in turn it's like this, I guess it's not always uh, a workaround. Okay, so it's... Let me update the scores as well. So much to do, so little time. There we go, so it's 1-1, one, one. this is the best of three, so this should be the last series, last match that is. Yeah. This um, is the deciding game. A boat picked UEF on open palms. It's uh, a decent third pick. A uh, very logical pick. It means they vetoed probably uh, Sarah. But again, open palms, I think I'd rather veto UEF. Because pillars are so strong here. Um. Yeah, it's... Julia has got two laps just beelining for those mixes. Yeah, true. Uh, but it is a very common place to send an early scout through the middle. So I'm a bit yeah. surprised. Scout does die though, which always feels a bit sad. <laughs> okay. Nice. Now I get the, it. I get the sound back, <laughs> and I don't hear any sounds. I only hear them once, and then the sound doesn't display oh, anymore. Oh, yeah, that one. And I, and the last time I had it, it just auto fixed itself after a few days. But I don't know how to fix it myself. Oh. Yeah, usually restart is enough, but yeah. Sometimes it's a bit more resilient. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we will see whether it stays here. I guess there's no sounds. Oh my god. Okay, so both going bomb at the exact same time. Basically mirroring each other. Uh, nice dodge from Patrick. Let's see if... No, UD. Not dodge from UD, but it's only a single engineer. Uh, this is gonna be important. Oh, and there was no dodge from Patrick. That's actually, uh, actually that was the second engineer. I thought it was, but this one will die to the lab. It should die to the lab. <laughs> it's so weird with the sounds, quite. <laughs> um, so yeah, the bomber from UD, a bit more successful, sniping as one engineer there. Expanding engineer is yeah. quite a bit more important than... Second NG got picked off by the lab as predicted. No, the NG was moved back, actually. actually no, no, that's the third one. That's oh, the third that's, one. That's the third one. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um... The start seems to be a lot better for Patrick. He has way more tro troops, doesn't he? 1k in tanks versus 640. He has a lot more tanks. I feel like Yudi is... No, he is nice eco-balance, actually. When I look at this base and I see open palms, it's... <laughs> you always think you have massive, but then you start stalling hard. 
Yeah, and then you start to overflow when you get your expansions. I mean, Yui is a lot faster with his ACU. He's gonna get the top right expansion. Yeah, but Patrick but... secured his own side a lot better. Yeah. Which is why he is slower, but... Um... So I think in, in the end it will be slightly better for Patrick. That's... But um, there's a lot more troops uh, around you these days, so you should be a bit careful. There's transport out from Patrick to drop the sides. Stone cutes for Yuri. Uh, there is one cute for Yuri. Let's start now. But look at all these blue units around Yuri's base. He's really. Uh, <laughs> It hasn't been going great for him, he just has way less units. Patrick has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 factories, land factories. But Judy has 8. <laughs> I don't know how this happens. Did he, he doesn't have Maybe insane Patrick just amount had them sooner, yeah. I guess he had them sooner. Uh, but still. It's, it's, it's very weird when it happens like this. It's When you're like, wait, they all had pretty much even the entire game but one of them has like 20 to 30 more tanks <laughs> out of nowhere like when they i don't really understand this yeah Not sure patrick accidentally uh, by the way five MAs. yeah who do you think will secure his back expansion first <laughs> i think uh, nobody <laughs> they will just keep sending infinite engineers at least uh, Patrick has a single max. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, Yudi, uh, Yudi sent five tanks to raid. It's probably a bit too much. They will kill a single max, but they will all die. And they will bring Patrick's troops close enough to the back to maybe kill the lab. <laughs> but look at Patrick says, you don't die. Don't suicide again, please. We've seen enough of those this game, these games. Uh, Okay, he's backing off. He was being very aggressive there for a second. Oh yeah, I think that could have been like a shift G. Yeah, for sure. Oh, well, Yudi didn't uh, realize, he didn't have intel. And he was yeah. sending his tanks north. Uh, so... Wasn't really happening, but Yudi is getting raided everywhere. All his uh, core expansions are getting raided as well. And he's on less than half the income of Patrick. I feel like Patrick is just doing a way better job with his unit positioning. Like, Yudi had 10 random tanks in center to kill off four maxes. Yeah, that's uh, probably partially what it has been so far. And now, oh Jesus, I get them back again. There we go. You need trying to go for Patrick's ACU, but Patrick just finished the PD and he has enough tanks. I feel like Yudi might come through K soon, because this is an uh, insanely one-sided game. The most one-sided game we've seen so far today. Uh, Yudi has nothing. He just has nothing. Even tanks dropping at the back. That's quite brutal. I'm surprised Patrick is still being so aggressive with his ACU and not just retreating. Patrick is gonna win the top side as well. And after winning the bottom. He has, he has the entire left side of the map. While Yudi has... <laughs> Yudi is, is down to like 8 maxes. It's his core base and the 4 maxes north. That's, <coughs> that's very, very painful. This is not a fun game to watch or play. But Patrick is pretty good on open palms, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I remember that he's considered one of the best here. Um, I, I wouldn't say one of the best. I mean, he would be one of the best because, you know, if he is in form, he is one of the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of one and one makes two. But if he's specifically good on open palms, I... I'm not too sure. Yeah, Yudi is somehow trying to get the like a surprise shift G on Patrick or something, but <laughs> Patrick has all of his army there. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's 
It's probably and not going to gun work now. out. Then again, we've seen some very questionable ECG movement so far. Uh, there we go. That's the shift G. Uh, why is it lagging? Jesus. I have this weird bug for my uh, Fev. It's so weird watching this without any sounds. I have this weird bug for Fev that every now and then it's, I randomly get like 10 FPS and then it's back to 60. <laughs> it's really weird. Okay, uh, it seems like uh, Arma was kind of right about this series, which is a bit sad. But uh, 